One of the things that have been great at this conference is the pharmacy track. This is additional program in addition um, to the license programming where we have relevant and hot topics that apply to pharmacists and pharmacy technician. Um, a lot of the information that was presented as part of the conference we find ways to implement in our clinical or day-to-day -day practice. Some of these hot topics included the accelerated drug approval process from the FDA. That was presented by Dr. Nicholas Chow, we, where he clarified the accelerated drug approval process, the breakthrough designation status, fast track, all of those things and what that means so that when this information is presented, the pharmacists or the pharmacy and therapeutic committee members are able to um, apply that to their institutions. The other topics that were presented were the updates in multiple myeloma, um, some of the new recent changes, um, including daratumumab and implementing that in the first line setting was presented. Um, additionally, we had a panel that talked about immunotherapy and hematology, the CART T cell, where the drugs that are approved, um, things that are coming down the pipeline, management of the toxicities with those um, new treatments, and um, ways to think about um, mitigation of costs and identifying the best patients for those types of treatments. In addition, one of the challenges affecting pharmacy practice recently is drug shortages, as well as um, very, very busy infusion centers. So some of the best practices that were presented were surrounding how to increase efficiency in the infusion center, how to uh, minimize the chair times for the patients, how to make sure that um, we still provide the best practice and best care to our patients, as well as um, addressing those very, very important needs um, to increase those efficiencies. So um, it was a very well attended um, program and um, we will continue to provide these innovative and hot topics to our um, clinicians.